so I've been in the studio for about uh, going on two years, off and on. You know, trying to you know be here as much as possible because due to the pandemic and you know how it's affected society in, in its entirety. But uh, before that, I was at uh, Plaza La Raza. You know, I was doing uh, residency there for five years. You know, but I still continue there as you know one of the instructors and in, as a uh, charco and chalk pastelis. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm David Fleury. Welcome to my studio. The thing that I like about this area right here, since it's, it's Boyle Heights, it's uh, historical, is that sometimes when you're driving around, I mean, you see a lot of gente, a lot of raza, and it feels kind of good to be kind of at home in your own environment. You know, you'll see people on the street selling you know, elotes, you know, uh, frutas and things like that. So it's cool, you know, you get that good vibe, that good feeling that you just want to pull over and, and support the community. You know, you can buy mariscos and, you know, things like that, you know. So it, it's, it's a good vibe. And I think that in a lot of ways that influences my art because I see everyday life, you know. And it, it, there's, there's a beauty, you know, in the everyday that people don't every day see. You know, so it's, it's beautiful. You know, I think that it, it gives a good feeling, a good uh, wholesomeness in the heart, you know, because you got to, like, speak with your heart. Coming up with ideas, it's not really that hard. You know, I, I'll just close my eyes and I just start seeing different things coming into form. You know, I've always had that since I was a little kid. Uh, just seeing things, you know, you close your eyes, you see things move, you know, like, oh, you see the colors. You know, it's kind of, uh, it's just an outlet, you know what I mean? You can't have one without the other, really. You know, you need imagination in order to create, you know, get your fingers moving on the paper or paintings or whatever, you know? So that's where the, you know, the, the, this is the environment or, you know, the dreams and things that you feel that you want to express. Sometimes people can't really talk, you know, so they'll speak through their artwork. All of a sudden, I'll get a flash, an idea. You know, this would actually look pretty good. You know, maybe I'll do a, a paleta cart, or maybe you know, I'll do a female structure, or uh, you know, with a with a with a pairing couple, you know, a male or something, you know, or some children, uh, something with the kitchen. You know, it's just something that just it it appears. You know, some people have a gift you know, in in that aspect. I would say the primary medias that I like to use, it's acrylic paint, you know, but it all depends, you know, what I have available on hand or what I'm feeling at that moment. You know, if I want to feel the wetness or if I want to feel the gritty, you know, like in the other part that I love to use the most is charcoal or, you know, chalk pastels, you know, it's just something, it's like chalk pastels to me, it's like painting dry, you know, it's like, it's just the movement. You know, the, the speed behind it, you know? And with painting, I gotta wait, to, I gotta wait for it to dry. Currently I'm working on uh, five different projects. One is uh, it's going to be working with the, uh, possibly one of the Disney stars. You know, I can't say the name right now. But uh, I'm working on five different projects. One is uh, for the Christmas sales that are coming up. Uh, working on some drawings for, uh, for Goodwill Industries in Southern California. Uh, working on uh, finishing up the Men Food Project uh, piece. Uh, and then just trying to get some stuff done. You know, it's, it's, it's this constant movement. But the thing about that is that it's all based on time. You know, it's like, you gotta catch up, you know?
So the idea behind this was community. So originally this piece started off as a giant charcoal, uh, black and white. So, and then after then uh, an event came about with it. So children were uh, provided with paints, brushes, and you know, just went ahead and started painting on it. So it's more of a collaborative piece with children and myself. So the idea behind this piece for the uh, community center, or let's just say food bank, is helping, the, helping everyone. So the good thing about that is that you have the, uh, the building over here, which is the Men Food Bank, which is, you know, they've been helping people out for decades now. And the other part is that, you know, they wanted to, you know, what's reminiscent of the neighborhood out there, you know? So we have homeless individuals, you know, and we have an angel bringing them food, you know? So we have to help people out in any aspect of life. So then we have the joy, you know, the community, people happy, children playing, you know, we have rainbows and stuff. all this, well, all these little ideas were given to me by them and uh, I created a, a, you know, a little body of sketches and then after that uh, I went ahead and projected it, you know, so to make, you know, a little bit more time that I can focus in on the paints and stuff like that or whatever needed. So if I was to do it, let's just say uh, physically, uh, by sketching or charcoal, it would take a little bit longer. So, you know, you just have to be smart about it. So, just project it, charcoal it, give it to the children to paint. So, right now, the phase that I'm in is um, repairing the, you know, some of the stuff that needs to be dialed in a little bit more. So, my intention here with this piece is to do a giant oil pastel. You know, everything, it's perfect, you know, and certain things, the certain things need to be repaired, and that's okay, you know, because it, it's a, a, a a collaboration. So for example, like right here, I'm doing oil pastel. You know, oil pastel, I'm uh, adding a little bit more. So initially everything has to be uh, black paint. You know, I have to outline everything in black paint. So once everything is black painted, then I can go over with the oil pastel and, you know, create different types of embellishments on this piece here. So I'm just traveling it across. So just to take a little bit of time, but this is one of many projects that I'm working on currently. So then we have here, like the, the, the home structure. You know, we have the mother, the father, the children, everyone eating. We have children here playing. We have a uh, little wagon filled with food to help people, the people that need assistance. So it's stuff that, you know, it's like everyday necessities that some people can't afford. So then we have, the, as I said, the children playing. We have their logo over here for the Men Food Bank and a child sitting there standing on top of a heart. And then someone had put a uh, palm tree with some coconuts and balloons, and here's one of my birds. And so here we have the sun and the clouds. So then they asked for a banner type. So, you know, I went and did a quick drawing, did the charcoal, and went over it with the paint. So we have a mother and a child, you know, I guess re receiving, you know, help over there. So then this piece right here that was painted by the kids, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do the black paint, and then I'll go ahead and do the... Um, the oil pastel on it. So I'm just traveling it across. This piece is going to be hanging in the uh, Men Food Bank lobby for, for decades to come. It's to celebrate their 50th anniversary. So I've always believed in helping people because it's the right thing to do. You know, it's like any walk of life. We're all human. We all need help. You know, they all wood and whatnot. So, you know, I took the, the thread out and stuff, right? So the thing is that, you know, just create drawings on each of them, you know, birthday cakes. So, you know, once all my drawings are done, and then I'll hang them up. And then, you know, then I'll just go ahead and start painting it, and then everything is done, I'm good to go. You know, doing a little bit of oil pastel on it, you know, it's just cool. And it's just doing little birdies. But just have a stack of work. Ne never be without work. You know, so it's like you could do it as, as an artist. You know, I mean, there's different formulas, techniques, whatever people want to do. But I prefer this one. So then here's other blanks, you know, that, you know, they'll be drawn on, you know, and just have them ready in a couple months. Well, people would say that it's, it's an assembly line, you know, like, oh, you know, there's no real, there's not really a soul to it. No, there is a soul to it because each piece is different from the other. Each piece, after everything's been painted and, you know, 
positioned or whatnot the way I want it to be. It's like I take my time with each piece to give it the, in the embellishment. You know, uh, different uh, you know symbolism to it, different approaches on it. It's just that just having the body of work because time is a factor. You know, we don't have a lot of that. You know, so you know I work full time. You know, uh, this, there's so many things happening in my life that I need to have everything ready. You know, the assembly line is, is not criminal. It's just a different way, of, a different approach of doing artwork. It's more of a smart way. Like these pieces down here, this is part of the assembly line. So I created two uh, uh, calculi, you know, invased, right? So, you know, I pretty much, I painted them at the same time, colored at the same time, oil pastel them at the same time. So the next step is going to be the, uh, the black ink, you know, acrylic ink, you know? So I'm going to go over it, then I'll be pastel it. So there's different layers to the piece, but, you know, I'm doing two paintings at one time. So such as other pieces, like I just constantly have to have work done. You know, are constantly working, you know, because it's like I'm working against the clock. So, you know, if I can do as much as I can, it's like it goes out as much as it can. So the thing is about nurturing your pieces. Assembly line is cool, but keep in mind that, you know, they're like, they're your children. You know, like you'll raise them, you know, you'll do everything you can with them, give them love. And then eventually they'll find their way out into the world. So that's the fun part, creating. One of the things that I like to do most is being an instructor at Plaza is, you know, is helping the kids out, you know, because it's fun, you know, you get to be a kid again, you know, you get to see life the way they see it, you know, on their level, you know, and then you can actually lift them up, elevate them, you know, it's, it's always about a foundation, you know, such as creating a drawing, you know, you got to have the blank piece of paper first, then you got to do the drawing, and then you can create whatever else you want. So, but in a, in a positive sense, you know, such as with the children, you know, they're open to interpretation, they're open to ideas. You know, they're open to be taught, you know, so that's fun, you know, but as you get older, you know, things change, you know, at least if you can at least put that little seed, you know, and then it could grow in whatever way they want it to be. I mean, the children, they'll be anything they want in life, you know, they could be doctors, lawyers, they can be uh, politicians, you know, things like that, but there always has to be a foundation and they can be colorful with that, you know, so that's one of the things that I enjoy the most is helping the children over there because it's self-fulfilling. And hey, you gotta gain points because you know there's windows in heaven. Mm -hmm. Well, one, one of the things that I like to do with that, you know, helping the kids is because I didn't have that growing up, you know, and uh, you know it, it was a rough life. You know, there was no art, there was no such thing as that. You know, and you know it was very difficult. The only thing you had was the streets. You know, and and the children nowadays they have more of a, an opportunity education wise and you know the doors are open to them when I was a child so we didn't have that you know and people would tell me stuff when I was there you'll never be an artist you know and here I am being an artist and with the children it's that you never you never put them down you, you support them you elevate them
Hey guys, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate that. My name is David Fleur and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.